in this lecture we'll go for std check it's a very important check for our structure and uh, if you come here you'll be able to uh, study everything you need to uh, read here and also uh, you can follow your code no problem so uh, when we are here then we are able to find out s3 uh, drift or drift ratio check it's a very important check so uh, first of all i will open our previous excel sheet and from here i'll take the s3 height and just paste it here done when we are here then we have to provide height of the structure so our first height is 2.774 or a uh, from where you will get that value actually if you need to do that then you can go model uh, definition then uh, go to system data tower story then uh, if you go here tower and base story definition or story definition right click show table you will see the height of your structure is available here and this height is in uh, feet so if you need to change that you may come here and by clicking here for length sorry for a structure area and for absolute distance you may change it for meter or any value you need so we can see we can see our uh, the first height is 2.78 feet and another all height is same as three feet okay so we have uh three meter sorry uh, three three point zero four uh nine meter or ten feet and here we need elastic displacement so from where we'll get that elastic displacement to uh, get our elastic displacement we have to uh we have to go to for i mean we have to go to our structure and uh, from here Uh, in our in our first check we i have shown you that how we'll get our elastic displacement but from here uh, maybe joint output displacement and here is uh is that a story maximum over our average displacement okay so i will right click and show table and for what we want to see uh, for earthquake suppose for earthquake h x um a, earthquake of x direction we need to find out our uh, displacement value and here is step number a step number says let's say a step number two okay then uh, you may see here uh, our total uh, story from f1 to our g16 or sorry a uh, terrace so uh, if you come here this is the displacement in maximum okay and here the ratio this is the average okay this is the average ratio average displacement of that structure i mean of that floor and this is the maximum so i'll take maximum displacement till first story i'll copy it sorry i'll again i'll select it then i'll press ctrl c okay and i'll come here oh sorry we need that value in millimeter okay we need that value in millimeter so what i'll do i will just close it i'll come here and length or uh, maybe here for displacement okay so for displacement we'll get that value in millimeter then click ok and again just come here right click show table you see all of that value now are in uh, millimeter okay so go here take that value for like y and the step number step number let's say step number will be two we have uh, three step number for earthquake step number two and here our value I'll just copy that value till S31. Okay, Ctrl C. Come here and paste that value here. So 
let's say uh, here we have a um, uh, displacement displacement of one okay and we can see we have uh, i mean uh, our that check if we see our check this is okay and uh, here we have to ch uh, change value of cd value of on and the del a the allowable displacement so here you will get uh, the value of uh, del okay so we uh, if you have to study here and as per your structure requirement you have to find out that so as we are our structure is in category one and two from that section we have to take that value and uh, as per my requirement all other structure are applicable for me so 0 0.02 i have considered here 0 0.02 okay and uh, same as uh, this is for ex1 duration ex2 i mean for a step now step number one step number two like that okay and same in the same way you have to find out the value for uh step number uh, earthquake in y direction earthquake in uh, y direction and here is the drift ratio the value of drift ratio here available so uh, we can uh, see that in this uh, this will be uh, done automatically and we can see here our uh, structure is safe also in uh, your, our check so if you provide value also in uh, for step number two you will see that our structure is also safe for uh, that structure and uh, if you think that your structure is uh, failing for soft study then you have to take the necessary action to solve that problem so how will take that uh, take uh, the necessary step to solve that you have to then uh, you, you have to go for uh, different types of change in your structure and uh, i hope if you change it uh, the element section size or anything in your structure then it will be okay so uh, thank you thank you very much in this way you are able to find out your uh, history drift and uh, i'll request you to study more about that topic to get your clear i mean to uh, make your concept very clear thank you thank you very much